Wow, that's a lot of mobs. I wonder what it would look like if I trapped every mob in one chunk. I guess there's only one way to find out. Now we're gonna want to start off by mining the chunk. So let's get rid of the dirt just like that. Now let's move on to the stone. <laughs> you really thought I was gonna mine this whole thing out? We're gonna use some TNT dupers. Oh wait, I need dead coral. And now this is a working TNT duper. And now this whole chunk will be mined out in three, two, one. That took way longer than I thought it would. And apparently I didn't need to really dig down as far as I did. If you just look down here, it goes down a while. I wasted so much of my time. <laughs> to do this, we're gonna want to start with the easy mobs at the top and work our way down to the hard mobs down near the bottom. Let's start off with the B. Please go in your home. All right, well, it went in. Let's collect this. Now for all of these cages, we're gonna wanna decorate them based on what the animal is. So like the bee, we'll decorate it with some flowers to represent the flower's forest. So now we can place down the bee, and now we're gonna name him Buzz. That is now one out of 68 mobs complete. Now we can go grab some of the more easier mobs, like the chicken, a cow, a pig. Well, that is unfortunate, and a sheep. Now I'm going to decorate these sort of like a plains slash village type of stuff. Sort of like this. Now let's just do it to the rest of them. Now for the wolf, I found one earlier. Here it is. Now to bring it over easier, let's just tame it. And now we'll just follow me over. And now we can just sit him down in here. Now we can do the same with the cat. Boom. Which means I now have seven mobs captured. Now we can work on getting the rideable mobs. Oh, and there we go. Now we have to be on the lookout for a donkey. Now let's bring you back to the chunk. So now we can breed them to get a mule. Yo, it's a zombie in half iron armor. Now we can put them in all of their cages. There's the mule, the donkey, and now the horse. Now let's get the llama just like that. We now have a llama. Now we can work on getting a few of the hostile mobs. Now we want to try and lure this creeper over. Now if I just punch you in, and now it's in its cage. But I still need to finish off the walls. And now the creeper is trapped. The spider is like perfectly setting it up for me. And now the spider's done. Now we have the zombie and the skeleton. But now we have to decorate the cages. Now for the skeleton's box, I'm gonna wanna use bone blocks. So... Now the skeleton's done. And now the zombies is also done. Now we can collect the witch, the stray, a zombie villager, and the husk. Now I've been doing quite a few of the easier mobs. So it's time to step up the difficulty. So the next mobs I'm gonna get is all the mobs from the raid. Now to decorate them, I'm gonna make them all look like a woodland mansion. And done. So now that these are all complete, let's go collect them. But first we're gonna wanna set up a railway to get them from the village all the way to the chunk. Now there's gonna be lots of different mobs that spawn, but I only want four of them. That's the pillager trapped. And now we also have the ravager. Now if I just break the boat, now he's trapped in two. And now we also have an evoker. Now that these guys are done, we can move on to some of the easier ones. Like the goat, the iron golem, a frog, a rabbit, a fox, a snow golem, a villager, a polar bear, and a wandering trader. Oh, it's a thunderstorm now. I don't have a channeling trident, so I need to make a bunch of lightning rods. Now if I just put you in a boat and place the lightning rod right beside you. Come on. And now if I come back here, there should be a charged creeper. <gasps> yes, it's charged, it's charged. Now let's just put you in a boat. Now for the charged creeper, I'm gonna do something like the creeper, except involving blue. Since there's a blue outer ring on a charged creeper. Now I just need to get the charged creeper. So let's just break it. Now I just have to lure you all the way to the chunk. And now using this trap I just made, the creeper should just walk down there. Perfect. And the charged creeper is now trapped. That was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Now let's move on to the nether mobs. Now the zombie pigment is pretty easy. All I really have to do is that. And he'll follow me. Oh, you're too scared to pass the rails. I'll help you with that. You can't get me, hey? Oh. What? So you can walk there. Now to decorate the zombified pigman's cage, we're gonna go with a nether waste themed cage. There, now you are stuck. And now to get the blaze and the wither skeleton, I'm going to need to start building a bridge so I can place down some rails. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> 
Now the railway is done for the blaze, but we just need them to spawn in here. Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage from this. There, just go. Perfect, perfect. There, it's gone. Now, just get in there. There we go. And it's off. Now it's trapped in this box while I go get the wither skeleton. Now, if you just follow me down here. Perfect, perfect. There we go. And then if I go, boom. There we go. Now, before I put them into their cells, I should probably decorate them first. Okay, so now that both of the cages are done, let's put the mobs in them. But I have trapped the blaze. Now it's time to get the wither skeleton. So if you just come right down here, then if I just break this, get in here, and you are now stuck forever. Which now checks two more mobs off the list. Now the magma cube should be pretty easy. Follow me, come through the portal. Now we have the magma cube in here. Now for the zoglin, we're gonna need a crimson forest. Wait, I could probably do this a lot easier on the nether roof. Let's make a platform for them to spawn. Now, if I just lure one of you and bring it over here. Oh yeah, that's right. You're scared of portals. Boom. Now we just wait a few seconds and there we go. It's a Zoglin. Now it's trapped in its cage. And now we have one more nether mob to get and that is the Strider. Wait, I'm just realizing I still need to get the gas. But before that, let's do a few of the ocean mobs. So let's collect the salmon, a puffer fish, a tropical fish, and cod. Now we can start creating their cages. Now we can start placing them inside their cages. That's one done. And now the cod, the puffer fish, and the tropical fish. Which means the four fish are now complete. Now we can go ahead and collect a few more of the easy ocean mobs. Like the axolotl, the turtle, the glow squid, the squid, the dolphin, the drowned. Now let's go collect some of the jungle mobs. Now hopefully a panda spawns somewhere. Oh, yep, there's a panda right there. Oh, two pandas. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> you thought I was gonna kill him, didn't you? Oh, I see an ocelot. I got it. Now, I'll keep you right here while I go to try and find a parrot. Hey, uh, you look like a parrot. Do you know where the nearest parrot would be? Supposed to be you. Oh, I found a green parrot. You will come with me. Now, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna decorate their cells like. And now the ocelot is in. The panda's in. And also the parrot. Now for the phantom. I just want to wait here. And now if I... Come on. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Now if I can just get a boat down. Now for the phantom's cage, I'm gonna do something special. And there we go. Now I should be able to just put you in here. Break you out of here. And now we have the phantom trapped. And now we can also go ahead and get the slime. Crossing the slime off our list. But now to get one of the newer mobs in Minecraft, the alley, I'm gonna need a pillager outpost. So, oh, I see one. The only question is, will it have alleys? No, no, it does not. Actually, I have a better idea to find an alley. Now, if I give this job to you and level you up, I can now buy the Woodland Explorer map. Now we can head toward the Woodland Mansion. And there it is. Hopefully, there's at least a few alleys here. All right, and here is mansion number two. Hopefully, I get a bit better luck. Okay, I need to find out what the heck this sound is. Oh, that's the sound. It's an LA. I think they might even just be below us here. Right in there, the LA. Now let's bring some of you guys home. And now to get the LA into its cage. Now I can trap you in here forever. Now the Enderman should be pretty easy. All I really have to do is that. Now hopefully you just get in there. There we go. You're in the minecart. And now for the Endermite, I'm just gonna have to continue to throw pearls over and over again. Oh, I got one. Okay, now let's name tag you. And now I've collected both the Enderman and the Endermite. Now we only have a few more easy mobs till we can get to the really hard mobs, like the Mushroom. And with this amazing jump transition, we will now have the Silverfish. Oh, it just went into the stone. And now if I just head down this big tunnel I've made, down here should be a bat. And now every time the bat goes up, I have to place a block. And we just have to continue this until the bat is in its cage. There we go. That took way too long. And now I also have the cave spider. And now that's all of the easy mobs completed. Now we can move on to the hard mobs. Starting with the shulker. Now there should be an end city over here. Yeah, here it is. And now using this railway I just made, I can shove this minecart. Now it should just go through this portal here. There we go. Now if we go through the portal, the shulker is right here. And now let's get you in there. I should be able to break that and he goes through. Now if I just head over here. Yep, there's the shulker. Now if I just push the shulker and now trap you in there. And now next up, we're gonna get a ghast. To get a ghast, we're gonna need loads more obsidian. 
Now to actually get the gas, we have to build a big portal. And there we go. And we will just continue to do this until one spawns. Yo, 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 yo. Now, come on, come on. Yes, it's there, it's there, it's there. Now the only problem is how many magma cubes there are. So let's just quickly kill them. Wait, I could just despawn them. All right, and now they're all gone. Now, once we get rid of this nether portal, the ghast is now complete. Now, I have a really cool plan of what I'm gonna do for the warden and the elder guardian. One of the main things I need for the warden's cage is skull. That is now all the skulk we need. And now all of the skulk is placed down, which means now we have to fill in the elder guardian side. And boom, there it is. I heard lightning, I heard lightning. I really need a skeleton horse to spawn. Oh, no way, I found one. I have to be prepared for this. A bunch of skeletons are gonna spawn. Let's go, okay, there's one guaranteed. No, no, no. Okay, I got two. And now we have the skeleton horse. And well, we only really needed one skeleton horse. And now to make it so the warden doesn't attack the elder And now to make it so the warden doesn't attack the elder guardian, we're gonna want to place some wool here. There's no way I was one block off. And there- There we go, now we're done. And now just so it looks good and it's all even, I want to place some glass down here. And now to finish the elder guardian's cage, I need to place water all the way up to the top of the wool. So it should be done just like that. Now we can go get the Elder Guardian. But to actually get the Elder Guardian to its cage, we're gonna want to build a railway to it. I should be able to grab this Elder Guardian now. So if I just swim under here, I can now get him into a minecart. And now off it goes. Come on. And now go through the portal. Let's go! Okay, get back in. There we go. It should just hop right through, right? There we go, it hopped through. Please be here. Yes, I got it! We have now trapped the Elder Guardian. Now I have a pretty good way of getting the Guardian. And it involves getting rid of these blocks, AFKing for a bit. Now if we go all the way back, you will see that there is a lot of Guardians around. If I just name tag one of them, now if I just fly away, they all should just despawn. Except for the one I name tagged. Now I can just send it off in a minecart, and we can put it in its cage. Now there is only one mob that remains. The one mob I've been dreading to do since the beginning. That is the warden. Now to get this warden, I'm gonna wanna build a portal by a shrieker. I can now light it. When the warden actually spawns, it should think the only way it can get to me is through this portal. I don't wanna die while doing this, so I'm gonna grab every single toad of my own. Now I think it's time for the moment everybody's been waiting for. Let's get this warden. So let's jump on this. Oh, there it is. Just go in here, name you. And now run through here. And come on, come through. Please, warden, please just jump. Thank you. <gasps> okay, the warden went through. Now let's just hop through this portal. I see it over there. Wait, what? Is it locked on to me already? I want it to follow me over here. And I'll fly this way. Okay, now I need it. <gasps> no, no, no. Wait, did it go through? I think I actually just caught the warden. <gasps> I see it. And now I've collected every single mob in Minecraft. But I still have one problem. It doesn't look very good. And now it looks a whole lot better. 